Excellent, we're here to start talking about sequences. Yeah? We have to find the nth term rule for this particular sequence. Right? This is part one, so I'm going to give you a little bit of background information. Yeah? So I have this number sequence 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. And it's important that you realize that that first number 5 is what we call the first term. Okay? Then that 8 is what we call the second term. Yeah, so all those numbers are terms, yeah? the third term, oh, third term, and the 14 is going to be the fourth term, yeah, and 17 is going to be the fifth term. And if I have to find the nth term rule, that means, yeah, the nth term, so that could be for any term in the sequence, yeah? because as these dots already suggest, the sequence goes on and on and on and on. So if somebody would ask me, what is the number of, let's say, term 2000, yeah? Then the nth term rule is going to help me to answer that question. Okay, and how do you find that? And I will just get a new piece of paper because it is relatively easy. I'm just gonna rewrite the sequence 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. And some of you already said probably, oh, well, the next term is going to be 20. And then what is the term afterwards going to be? A 23, and then 26, indeed 29. And you can continue, continue. Because what is the term to term rule? What is happening between each term, the term to term rule? Indeed, it is add three every time plus three between each term. Okay, so 17 plus 3 is 20, and 20 plus 3 is 23, and you can go on and on and on and on. Alright, but I still have to be able to find the nth term rule, because again, if somebody asks me what is term 2000 going to be, I'm not going to do plus 3 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 plus 2000 times. No, that's not uh, going to be uh, very helpful. Um, what do I do? The nth term rule. First, I always look what is the term to term rule plus three, right? So I immediately write down three n, okay? If it would be plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four, I would write down four n. If it would be plus 11, plus 11, plus 11, plus 11, plus 11, I would write down 11 n. If it would be minus two, minus two, minus two, minus two, I would write down minus two n, okay? Yeah, but in this case, it's plus three, the term to term rule, so three n. But I'm not finished yet, because then I have to check my first term, yeah? So if n would be 1, which represents my first term, 3 times 1 is 3. But is my first term 3? No, it's 5. So what do I have to add or subtract to go from 3 to 5? And some of you are going to say, now yeah, you have to do plus 2. And you're absolutely right, and that's the nth term rule, finished. But I always check myself eh, for a particular term. Let's say the ter fourth term, okay? One, two, three, four, it's 14. Let me check that, the fourth term. Three times four is 12, plus two is indeed 14. So this is the nth term rule. Somebody could ask me now, what is term 2000? Term 2000. So that's gonna be three times 2000, plus two, so that's gonna be 6,000 plus two, which is 6,002, okay? So the end of term rule will help you to answer those types of questions relatively quickly, rather than to do plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three all the time, all right? Go to the next video, more examples, see you there.